In this video, I'll show you how to use grid libraries to save and reuse grid patterns in Crossword Compiler. The program comes with quite a lot of grid patterns for different styles of puzzle. For example, Cryptical Quick is one set of grids, American is another set of grid patterns, and there's also barred and clues and squares and shapes. So whenever you choose one of these options and choose a size, you are then presented with the grid patterns that exist in one of the provided grid libraries. So you can see here there's a grid library selection and you can change the grid library if you want to use one of the different ones. So if I wanted to view the American one, I could click that and then I would get American style grids. These grid libraries are supplied, but you can also create your own grid patterns and add them to grid libraries or make your own entirely new grid libraries. You could access your new grid libraries from any of these existing buttons, or you could make a custom template uh, with a name that matches your grid library, and then you'd have your own custom workflow. So I'll give you an example of how to design a new grid pattern and add it to a library. So let's make a shape pattern, because that's the most interesting and perhaps the most difficult to design. So I'm going to click on the shape button, and you'll see that quite a few interesting shapes are provided with the program but there may well be some other shape that you want to design yourself. If you just want to make one puzzle, of course, there's absolutely no need to add your shape to a grid library. But if it's something you might want to reuse, maybe you're a teacher in some topic and there's some particular set of common shapes relevant for your subject and you want to reuse them, you might want to save the shapes for reuse the next year. So you could add them to the shape grid library or make your own grid library containing your own particular set of patterns. So if you want to use one of these grids and fill it with words, you just use use shape. Here, I'm going to click design new shape. So let's say um, I want to make something of a house picture, but this one doesn't look particularly like the house that I want it to look like. So I'm going to design my own house like shape. So I'll click design new shape and now choose a size. Uh, so the house I'm thinking of is more high than it is wide, so I'm going to choose something like uh, 24. It doesn't matter if you don't get this quite right at the beginning, you can change the size later if necessary. So use custom size, and that will start with a new empty grid that you can then design your shape in. So to design a shape, what you want to do is remove squares from this grid. And to do that, you just select some squares and press Control plus Delete. That converts them to what Crossword Compiler calls a void. So there's that. It's not a square, it's not a block, it doesn't have anything in it. If you want to just draw out a shape, you can hold down the control key and move the mouse. So hold the mouse down and hold down the control key. So if I wanted to block out this whole region at the top here, I could just move the mouse holding down the control key until all the squares I want to remove is selected. It doesn't matter if you re-select squares that are already removed, then press Control, Delete, and that will remove them. So if I continue, I want to remove the ones on this side. If you wanted to do a square, you can just drag as a square, but for a random selection, you want to hold down the Control key so that you can draw out the particular shape that you want. So I'm trying to make a roof for a house, I want this diagonal line down here. And I press Control plus Delete. Making something like a door, I can just drag out a square block very quickly and press Control Delete. Likewise for adding windows where I want them. Maybe I'm going to have two windows in this house. And now you have your grid pattern. If you want to Fill it with words. You can go to words, create a vocabulary puzzle, add your words, select whichever word list you want, or add your own words, build puzzle, and it will then fit them into the grid for you. Let's say I just want to save it for the moment to my grid library. So I've saved the puzzle, that would save the contents as well. The grid library is just a set of patterns, so it's this set of patterns of squares and voids. So to add this to a grid library, I'll go to Grid Menu, Grid Library Submenu, Add to Grid Library. 
and then you can choose which grid library to add it to. So if you wanted to make your own set of custom designs, you could click new, type in a name for your grid library and make your new empty grid library. If I wanted to add to shapes, I could select shapes um, and type in the name. So my house, click add, and then it will be added with all the other shapes. So now if I go to file new shape, I should find my house is here and I can select it and reuse it. If I want to delete a grid, I can just select it here and press delete key on the keyboard and it's been deleted or removed. If you're designing your grid and you find that you run out of space where you, maybe you remember or think that perhaps I want to add a garage onto the side here, so I'd better make it wider than I originally started from, then you can go to grid, resize, and this will then give you an option to change these dimensions of the puzzle. So as long as you only want to expand it, this is quite easy. You can just choose a new width. So maybe if I wanted to make it 25 wide, uh, voids is correct for the new squares here if I want them to be blank or I could choose empty letters depends on whether I want the new area to be blank by default or empty letter squares by default. If you're trying to add to the left or to the top you might have to change the offset of the original shape by adjusting these settings up here. But just to increase the width it's straightforward click OK and then you'll stand up with a wider grid pattern. Now if I want to add my garage on here so here I've got voids and I can convert them back to letter squares just by pressing delete. So control plus delete converts letter squares to voids. If you've got voids, you want to go back to letter squares, just press delete on its own. Some other options you might want to use in the grid library submenu. Add patterns from files might be useful if you've got a set of old puzzle files in some format and you want to add them. Or if you can download puzzles from the internet in various formats, you may be able to extract grid patterns from those if you know there are patterns there that you're particularly interested in reusing for some reason. If I didn't like the shape I'm using now, but wanted to use an existing pattern of this size in a grid library, I could just use use grid library. Usually it's easier to just select the grid library from the new puzzle window, but if you want to change your mind later and choose a different shape from a grid library, you can select that option here. If you've got multiple grid libraries, you can use merge grid libraries to combine the contents of one or more together. So that's about it for making grid libraries. Just to recap, grid libraries are only collections of grid patterns. If you want to reuse settings, use a template. If you want to reuse grid patterns, use a grid library.